Hey fam! So welcome to another Motivation Monday video. And for today's video, um, as you can see from the title, it's not going to be one of my usual videos. Like for this video, I just want to like give a message to you guys. A message about hope and yeah, basically about hope and not and like a message so that you won't give up because I will be talking about fighting your own personal battles or like going through things that you don't really share or talk about and for me I'm actually going through that right now that's why I don't think that I can make a video wherein I give advice so I just wanted to give like a message because that is what I have been receiving because recently I've been getting a lot of encouragement of, or a lot of messages that you know really have helped me because I just want to be real with you guys with those people who watch my videos with my subscribers I haven't been like really in the best state uh, I am still recovering from my burnt out from my org because I think if you consistently watch my motivational Monday videos I mention a lot about being a team leader or you know even in my vlogs like um you know like being a team leader for me it's it's been really hard and challenging and I was hoping that over the Christmas break I would be able to recover but unfortunately I haven't been able to do that like not fully because I have to admit that throughout the break I just kept thinking about what I had to do when I get back to school when I get back to school we're gonna go back to having the recollections again and you know um during that season of the school year um, I feel like it's very demanding and there's a lot of expectations that I have to meet. That's why I can't get it off my head. That's why I haven't fully reco recovered from my burnt out because I really can't stop thinking about it. And uh, things have just really been so hard um, because of what I feel and what I have to take care of. It's really a handful. And uh, I've talked to my friends about it, like older people, you know, like I asked them for help, I asked them like what I should do. And uh, since I am going through a personal battle as well, I just want to give a message of hope to those who will be watching this and to those who need help. I'm not in the right position or in the right state right now to give advice but I just want to give a reminder to those people who might need it because as I said earlier I've been receiving messages and you know I, I, I'm starting to recognize people who I should really be thankful for at this point like not taking them for granted because despite what I'm going through right now at least I know I'm not alone and that's what you should know as well you're not alone in facing the battles you're facing now I know you may choose to like not talk about it because personally that's kind of what I'm doing I don't really talk about it I'm not Usually when I have a problem, I'm kind of open. I talk to so many people about what I'm going through. But with this problem now, uh, very few people, like maybe only two people. There's only two people I've talked to it Like there's only two people I have opened up to it about. Or maybe make that four if you count my mom and dad. There are probably four people who know about it. Basically, because I'm just very, very burnt out, and it's so hard for me to heal from it. 
recently I've always been sleeping at 2 or 3 a.m. But sana naman. I hope you guys are not like that. I hope you guys get to sleep and rest because that's very important. Because for me it's really hard. It really hasn't been helpful. But I just want to share with you like a message or remind you guys to be hopeful through all this so I, I actually went on a quick trip with my parents and uh, on, on the way there I came across this picture and I feel like it was God telling me something because um, it's clouds and then there's like a hole there with the light so uh, for me I think that that was God telling me or reminding me that no matter how dark your situation is right now there's always gonna be light somewhere if you know what if you know how to manage what to do uh, if you know how to manage your feelings if you know how to manage your work there's always going to be light at the end. Or if it's all darkness at this point, I, be I believe that in time, you'll also find the light. Or in time, this will all end and you'll be in... And eventually, you'll be in a better situation and you will see the light. As time, as time passes by, as the right time comes, it will also all be over. And I want to also remind you guys that as long as you don't give up you're not a loser or anything you're not a weakling and that's already something to be proud about motivate yourself by thinking that oh um i've been through this before there were times when i also said that i don't want anymore i want to give up but you're here and that means you didn't give up so i think that's one way and Mm, prayer really helps. Uh, recently, I started to pray the rosary more often, and it really gives me a different feeling. So, prayer is really one thing that really helps. And also, uh, I got a really sweet message from my program consultant in John Robert Powers. Her name is Miss Now, and if you watched my vlog when I went to the John Robert Powers Christmas party you would have seen her in that vlog and she actually gave me a late Christmas gift and with that Christmas gift she attached a note to to the gift so uh, there it just has my name on it and she wrote me a letter that was really sweet I actually teared up when I read it and it says here Hi Annie, just in case things are quite heavy and dark the past few days, I just want to remind you that you're good enough and that it is okay if you pause for a bit and just reconnect with God and yourself. It is okay if you're choosing not to discuss to anyone all of those things happening inside. You'll get through because there's grace and because He got you. I love you Annie. Miss now. So uh, I just find it really touching and I think it's a good message for everyone who is fighting a personal battle now. Uh, so just remember that you're good enough. And when I say that you're good enough, you have to believe that too. What other people believe or when other people believe in you, it means nothing if you don't believe in yourself or if you don't believe it as, or if you don't believe that it is possible and it is true and uh, it's always good and important to pause and just reconnect with God because he will give you peace he will give you strength he will give you what you need God always provides and to also reconnect with yourself uh, allow yourself to feel what you're feeling and uh, try to understand yourself be humble enough to recognize that this is what you're feeling. Be humble to admit that you're not okay. It's perfectly normal if you're having a bad day. I don't think there's any single person in the world who doesn't go through bad days. 
and it's okay if you don't want to talk about it sometimes there's just people who just really aren't ready to talk about what they go through or sometimes they don't get to talk about it because they don't have the right words for it and i think for me that's one thing i struggle with i don't get to share it now because well one thing it's very personal and another is also because sometimes i don't really have the right words to describe how i'm feeling or what i'm going through i feel like what i'm going through now you'll only understand it if you're really talaga. And what I'm telling you guys right now is is what I'm doing. And I'm not so sure if effective siya, but I think naman if you want to try to do something or if you want uh, suggestions or advice on what you can do, this is what I'm doing. And you'll never know it could help you. So there. And... Yes, the last line of the note from Miss Now, she told me, is you'll get through because there's grace and because he got you. And I think that's really one of the important things to keep in mind. It's because God is always there for you. And he's not going to put you through, through something difficult without being there. And as long as you just tell him, and ask for his guidance, for his strength. He's gonna give it to you. He's gonna give you what you need and he'll never abandon you. And always believe that always believe that you will receive his grace. You may not it may not be now, it may not be anytime soon. It may feel like forever before everything becomes okay. But yeah, I like to believe that we will always get through everything. So just always remember that you're not alone. And it's okay to have bad days. It's pretty normal. I think having bad days makes us human. And just always believe that you are good enough and that you will get through. Nothing, nothing is impossible with God by your side. And if you believe you can, you will.